Alright guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to install and set up a Counter-Strike Global Offensive server. So getting right into it, we're going to head over to your internet browser and go to this link I will leave in the description. It's a link to the Steam CMD page on the Valve Software Wiki. You want to head over to the contents and look for downloading Steam CMD. Click your platform, for example we're using Windows, so we'll click Windows. And just click the download link for your uh, platform. It will begin downloading and once it's downloaded you want to open it up with your uh, favorite zip program for example I use 7zip, link to that will also be in the description and you just want to extract it somewhere for example I was going to put it on the desktop and make a new folder for it called CSGO server you can name this anything you want put that in the folder and open the folder up once you're in the folder you want to double click on Steam CMD and it will begin to update once the update is done, you want to type in login anonymous. Alright, once you're logged in, you want to type in app underscore update 740. This is the uh, app ID for the Counter Strike Global Offensive server. And now, if you're installing it for the first time, you want to follow the 740 by a space and then type validate. Hit enter and it will begin to update and install Counter-Strike Global Offensive Server. And I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, we're back and it'll say success, app 740 fully installed. At this point, you can type quit in the Steam CMD console and press enter and it will close Steam CMD. Uh, now onto the next step, which is actually configuring and setting up the server. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into your CSGO server folder, head into Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive Dedicated Server, uh, and then once you see the srcds.exe, this is where you want to be. So what we're going to do is I've already prepared a sort of a batch script to launch set up and launch the server for us. So I'll leave this in the description and here it is. So what we want to do is you want to copy and paste this from the description into a editor, for example notepad. Once we're here, we can change all the different options. For example, firstly, you might want to change the tick rate. Uh, as you may know, Valve servers run at 64 tick. Lots of surfing and bhop servers run at 102.4 tick. But most uh, decent community servers run at 128 tick, which is the preferred tick rate. So if just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to set mine to 128 tick. Next option is the max players underscore override. This is how many maximum. This is the maximum amount of players which will be allowed in your server at one time. For example, I only want 10 to be allowed in my server at once. Uh, moving on to the next option. Now for SV set Steam account, uh, we're going to need a key from Valve's website. So head back into your internet browser and head to this link which will also be in the description. This is the Steam game server account management. Here we can type in the app ID of our game. For example, CSGO's is 730 and just a little note so we know what one it's for. For example, I'm going to name this one YouTube. Press create. Wait for it to load. And you'll be presented with a key. Right click this key, select it all, right click, copy, then you can minimize your browser and you can replace where it says key with the key. Next option you may want to change is the map. For example, I've got it so it auto starts on DE underscore dust2. I'll leave that for now because I want it to start on dust2. Press file, save as, head into where you've installed your Counter Strike server. For example, ours is CSGO server, Steam Apps, common. And then this in here, and which is the same directory, we want to do save as type all files and name it start.bat. Make sure it's all files or the bat won't be recognized. Press save, and you'll see a start.bat appear in your Counter Strike server folder. Well, we could go and start this now, but we haven't actually configured any of the settings for our server. For this, we're going to head, have to head into CSGO and CFG. Once we're in the CFG folder, we're going to create a new file called server.cfg to store all of our server settings. I've already made an example CFG uh, for you guys, so I'll leave that in the description as well, so you can copy and paste that. All right, so now once you've once you've pasted this into a Notepad editor, you can see all of these different options and settings for your server. The important ones I'll go over now. Hostname. This is the name of your server. I've set it by default to YouTube Server. SVLAN. This is whether you want your server to be LAN or online. If you, only, if you only want people to be able to connect from your network, leave it at 1, otherwise put it on 0. SV tags, this is what I've set, 128 because this is 128 6 server 
Adam because that's my name and YouTube because this is a tutorial. These have to be separated by commas and these are used to help find your server in the browser. Archon password helps if you want to be able to remote connect to your server via using a password. Scroll down and the next important ones are the server rates. If you're only running a 64 tick server you want to change your you want to change your CMD rate here to 64. However we've got ours on 128 so I will leave that at 128. That should be all for the server.cfg. Press file, save as, go into your CSGO folder, into the CFG folder, save as type, all files, and name it server.cfg. Press save, and we're ready. You can then close notepad and close up the server. All right, so now you're thinking, how do I start up the server so I can actually play on it? Well, the first step is to make sure you close Steam because Steam thinks when you're running a server, you're actually running the game. We don't want that. Open up the CSGO server folder, go into where we installed it, for example, Steam Apps, Common, Counter Global Offensive, and you see our start.bat. Double click on our start.bat and the server will start up. You'll probably be asked by the Windows firewall whether you want to allow it, and just press allow access. As you can see, the server is starting up and running. Once it gets to this point where it says VAC secure mode is enabled and GC connection established, you can pretty much just minimize those and then we can go and play on our server. Next step is to test it out. After you're in game, you want to go to play, browse community servers, head over to the LAN tab and you'll see your server there. Press connect and wait for it to load. Once you're in, press continue, go, choose a team, and your Counter-Strike Global Offensive server is ready to go. Have fun 